and you're watching company. Is that right? So, first question. Stage dive! Yeah, okay. Well, I like to stage dive because that's a good way to kind of like just like do something crazy, just ah, make the audience into like kind of a, a very good way of communicating with a lot of power and energy and I really like I mean, when I stage dive, I do it because I feel like I just want to let go and, you know, not thinking about what will happen if I jump out there and just like to just be one with kind of the crowd, you know, and I really like that. Yeah, I got very inspired by stage diving because of this other Danish band called Reptile Youth where the lead singer, he's very good at stage diving and I was like, when I saw them for the first time, I was like, I want to do like that, you know, so now I'm doing it a bit. Hirokins. Yeah, okay, yes, we are at Eurokins right now, and it's raining a lot, but that's that's nice, that's a part of, uh, you know, festival season, <laughs> and I actually, I played here three years ago, four years ago, maybe, with this French band called Electric Gunna, uh, so it's kind of funny to be back, but back then it was sunny, and now it's raining, but you can really still feel the, the cool vibe of this festival, you can really feel that it's it's such a cool festival, and so we're all very happy to be here, even though it's pouring down. Um, first festival, first fest my first festival, I guess. Uh, well, well, you know, I used to be in this punk band called More, and I mean, we played some festivals, and we played this summer festival out on the countryside in Denmark, like um, on this farm. And it was like it was called Pogo Farm, and you know Pogo, that's this kind of punk dance. You you, you dance at punk shows, so that was the name of, of that festival, and we played that. And yeah, I guess that was the first festival I ever played. Stress. Yeah. Well, stress. I guess everybody working in the industry knows what it like. It's like to be stressed out sometimes, and I mean. I am pretty stressed, like, most of the time, but it's in a good way, because it's like, every every morning I wake up, I'm like, it makes so much sense to me that I'm doing these things, and that I am so busy, and even though I sometimes don't get to see my friends and all that stuff as much as I would want to, then it's just, you know, if it makes sense what you're doing, then you should keep on doing it. Everything changes so fast, and you have to keep keep up with everything all the time, so... Yeah, but you gotta take care of your health, man, otherwise you're burning out. Worst memory? Hmm. Like, I guess you mean in a music, music term, like musical term? Oh yeah, the worst thing I tried with Moo as Moo was when we played uh, Icelandic Airways, if you know that festival. Uh, because we were, we just came from Australia and we were all like totally pumped for the gig and I've never been to Iceland and I was so excited to play that festival because it's a very very cool festival and we were all like ah! and we were going into the stage and we were all like you know we, I could just feel I, we were going to smash it and you know there was like this big crowd and it was totally filled you know the room was totally filled and it was just the, you know the whole atmosphere was just wild and crazy but then after two songs our uh, sound card broke down and we couldn't fix it so we had to fucking cancel the show and I was just I cried all night because it was just I've been like so Fucking excited for that festival and I was so pumped up and it's always it was like, you know What do you call it like interrupted in the course like just uh, Hangover Yeah, well the first year touring a lot with me we had hangovers all the time But now when you know we've been touring so much for two years, you know we can't get drunk like we used to, so hangovers is something that don't happen that often anymore, which is good, I guess. Bye, company!